Hello Summoners and welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Dan and today's video is the ultimate guide on attack moving. While everyone has their own preferred settings and ways of playing the game, this is one of the more advanced but oh so crucial mechanics that all players should be using. In this guide, we'll be talking about what exactly it is and how it can help you improve as a player. But first, for today's question of the day, what champs do you think are much harder to play without quick casting and attack moving? While I think it is possible to play them, it's definitely not optimal to play LeBlanc without quick cast or Kog'Maw without attack moving. LeBlanc's combos just look so slow and clunky, and Kog misses out on so much DPS when you try to kite without orb walking. And one last thing, be sure to visit us at ProGuides.com. We have the best roster of coaches, top tier live classes from instructors like Mike Young and Zyrene, and of course covering a variety of roles and champs from your favorite pro players like Doublelift. We want to help you guys improve where you're lacking and polish up where you're already strong so you can reach your season goals. And now on the topic of improvement, let's get into this guide on this super important skill. So, as I said before, attack moving is a very crucial skill to have in League for players of all roles, but especially for those maining ranged champs like the Marksman in bot lane and auto attack heavy mages like Ori in mid. But before we can get into the basic and more advanced concepts of attack moving, let's define what it is. Attack moving, also known as kiting or orb walking, is a command that has your champ walk towards your cursor, stopping to attack the first enemy unit that comes into range or the closest enemy to your cursor, depending on your settings. This can be used in a variety of ways and has several advantages that put you head and shoulders above other players with similar level of mechanics that inhibit themselves by not using this tool. We'll talk about the how and why, but first let's look at some of the settings and what they do exactly, since it can be a bit confusing to figure it all out on your own. These first three settings can be found in hotkeys under player movement. Player attack move. Pressing the bound hotkey will change your cursor to a targeting reticle. Left clicking will issue an attack move. If you have the show attack range setting enabled, a radius showing your champ's auto range will be displayed while you have the targeting reticle active. Player attack move click. This setting is nearly identical to the last one, but has a click included. So where for the previous setting, you would have to press the hotkey and then left click to attack move. With this setting, all you do is press the hotkey to attack move on your cursor's location. While not a huge difference, it's an extra shortcut that trades out some of the precision that the targeting reticle and clicking of the last option gives for quicker inputs overall. Player attack only click. Pressing the hotkey when hovering on an enemy unit will issue an attack command. Pressing the hotkey when not hovering on a unit will result in nothing happening. This helps to prevent accidentally pathing forward after killing a lone minion with no other nearby targets, but is a setting that the vast majority of players don't really bother using. As with proper control, the other two options just do the job better. Attack Move Cursor This setting can be found in the game category. By default, attack move targets the closest enemy to your champion, but with this setting enabled, your attack moves will target the closest target to the cursor. Note that even with this enabled, if you attack move too far from your champion, you will default to attacking the first target in range. While not directly related to attack moving, target champions only is a very useful setting that does exactly what the name says. When holding the hotkey, you will only be able to target champs with your attacks and abilities. Additionally, in the game category of settings, checking off treat target champion only as a toggle will make it so that just pressing the hotkey enables or disables this feature instead of having to hold it down. This is incredibly useful to avoid accidentally hitting minions when trading in a creep wave or clicking a tower when attempting a dive, which would normally result in your death and your opponent BMing you in all chat. If you have more questions about different settings and tips like these, be sure to come on over to ProGuys.com. Our challenger level coaches can help you with all that and more to optimize your gameplay. Okay, now that we have clearly defined the terms, here's some more about when and why you should start using attack move. For starters, the most common use of attack moving is for kiting and chasing in team fights. While most lower skilled players either run from a threat or hold their ground and attack back, players good enough at attack moving can effectively do both, maximizing survivability and DPS output at the same time. This will be reflected in-game as you learn to carry teamfights better and you see results in real time, and in the post-game damage charts, where you can see just how much more you can contribute once you pick up this skill. It's also good when just trying to auto-attack targets in general, both in fights and when just farming in lane. Let's say you're farming in lane, like you always do, but you accidentally just barely miss the minion with your right click, instead clicking the ground and start walking forward. If you don't realize your mistake, it just takes a second for you to just face plant into the enemy and take unnecessary damage or even die. 
In team fights or when sieging towers, where there are five enemies to jump on you instead of the one or two in lane phase, this mistake is all but guaranteed to give you a gray screen. Another extremely valuable use for this is when checking bushes or chasing enemies into them. Normally when walking into a bush, you have to walk in, get vision, and then click on the enemy. This gives them time to land autos, combo spells, or bush juke you as you struggle to target them. When attack moving into the bush, you'll always attack them the second they show up, preventing you from losing what should be an easy 1v1 or stopping you from getting clowned by an opponent that runs back and forth between two bushes. Aside from face checking bushes, it can also be used when just moving across the map. Say you're walking mid lane from bottom and you pan your camera to look at a fight that's happening. Using attack move instead of the standard right click will let you attack any enemies you run into on the way. While this doesn't mean you're going to kill them while on autopilot, it'll let you stop an attack and then react accordingly, rather than just walking into an enemy and letting them beat you down. Aside from killing champs, this also lets you kill wards on your way that you may have otherwise missed. This is especially useful when pathing through bushes that have control wards in them that you would otherwise miss. So those are a ton of reasons to start using it, so what are you waiting for? If it's still a bit intimidating, be sure to visit ProGuides.com. We have courses from your favorite pros like Doublelift to help you understand these concepts like the best of the best. And if you need a more hands-on approach, our coaches have your back. Now, when it comes time to actually apply it, attack moving can take a while to get used to. But the best thing to do is just use it every time you plan on auto-attacking. Practice tool can be nice to set up your new settings and get a feel for them, but it's a skill you're going to learn and improve over the course of dozens or hundreds of games. So while the main application of attack moving is to be able to kite and dish out more damage, the best practice is to use it every time you go to CS. While team fighting may give you anywhere from 1 to 3 minutes of practice in a given game, using attack move while farming will give you 20 plus minutes of practice in pretty much any game that isn't an early surrender. After you get past the awkward learning stage, you'll improve rapidly and end up much better than you were before you started. While learning to orb walk won't turn you into a challenger player overnight, it's definitely a very learnable skill that will put you in the right direction. And with that, this guide is complete. Whether you're an inexperienced player or just getting started, I hope you learned something from this. Do remember to let us know which champs you think are much weaker when played without quick casting and orb walking in the comments below. We really do love to see what you all have to say. Can't wait to see you guys back for our next video, but for now, good luck out on the rift, and remember to wash your hands.